not technically it's not Friday anymore. It's Saturday morning, but <laughs> I'll just say happy Friday <laughs> since I didn't get to tell you. So, y'all, I um, am home from work. It was my eight-hour ship night. Um, and I just thought I would put together, I don't know, kind of play dress up, <laughs> put together a little look. I have on an adorable sweater that I just love that's kind of like for spring. And it's got this cute little cutout in the back. I just love that. I think that's so sexy and so cute. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys had a great day. Um, I kind of want to see if I can get my hair. I was going to twist it, but I was like, oh, gosh, I just don't feel like twisting it tonight. Even though I actually might twist it... Um, maybe tomorrow night or Sunday, maybe I'll twist it at work today or last night. They were debating on whether or not, um, to work Sunday and I'm supposed to be having Sundays off. That's the whole purpose of working 12 hours a day. So, um, through the week. Um, is so that Sundays, we can have Sundays off, but now they're talking about they're behind. So at first they were talking about working Sunday, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have my heart kind of set, set on being off. And they're like, well, the supervisor um, was like, well, let me go around and talk to everyone and see if people agree. Is if, pe if people agree, then we're going to work. If they don't agree, we're not going to work. And y'all, people were not agreeing. <laughs> we were like, no, we want to be off. We have made plans already, so no. We're supposed to be off on Sundays. So, yeah, that was a close call, y'all. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to get my hair together first. Like I said, I thought I was, I wanted to kind of do twists, but I think I might actually do like, um, a high a high poof I haven't done one in a long time and the thing that I used to use to do it I could not find but I did find this and I have some um, bobby pins so let's try that out um, it's actually one of the ways I also um, used to wear my hair all the time and I just, for some reason, I, I stopped. But, um, but yeah, let's see if we can get this stuff put up in a puff. <laughs> so, yeah, I have conditioner in it. And you guys, you know what? I was looking in my, um, supply cabinet and like, I have so, so, so many, um, different hair products and the crazy thing is the thing that I typically wear my hair is a leave-in conditioner or moisturizer and gel like I have all these tons of hair products that I just don't really use some of them are full and I know I have not touched the bottle in probably two years like seriously a lot of this stuff I'm just gonna have to end up throwing away but um yeah, maybe like at the time I thought I needed it, but yeah, you guys, I got a lot of hair products that I do not use. So I'm going to try to do a high puff my hair. And once I get it up there, I can like kind of like pick it out. So it's nice and full. And I kind of like my puffs to be more to the front of my head. It's kind of like almost how I wear my head wraps. That's kind of like how I like my puffs, like to the front of my head. I know some people like theirs in the middle or... I even have worn mine to the side before. But, um, yeah. Try to get it a little all picked out. If I get it picked out, it's going to stand up without drooping all over the place. So, we'll see. 
I think when I get done, well, first let me rewind. So when I got home from work, you guys, I um, kind of just checked the mail out for a second and um, then I went straight in the kitchen and I, I had mentioned in my earlier video about making that feta pasta. So preheated the oven to 400 and um i'm like okay let me get my tomatoes and my feta i was so looking forward to it and i opened the fridge and seeing that miss aubrey must really like those tomatoes because there's only like five left <laughs> so i was like okay um the tomatoes are out <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that. So, but I'm like, okay, I can still salvage this, right? So I had plenty of cans of diced tomatoes. So I, um, that's what I used. Cans of diced tomatoes instead of the whole fresh tomatoes. I mean, I've never had it with, the, I've never had this dish with the feta, like feta pasta. I've never made that. So I don't know if there's a huge difference in the tomatoes like you know i mean obviously they probably taste different because it's the, most of the recipes use fresh tomatoes and i use the, the canned diced tomatoes um no salt tomatoes but um yeah um so i put i ended up using two cans i had one can in at first but i was kind of like uh i don't want it to be too dry so I ended up adding another can and um, I did not drain them. And the basil that I had cut at the store when I got the feta and the, and the tomatoes, the basil had wilted and started turning brown. So I, was, I had to throw that in the trash and it wasn't even open yet, y'all. I didn't even use it. You know, just with work and stuff, I just stuffed in stuff to waste. So, and, and Aubrey, you know, she door dashes a lot or she's out with friends. So, you know, we, some stuff just goes to waste and I hate that. So, um, I went ahead and got my canned tomatoes. I, um, since I didn't have the basil, I said, oh, I want to add something green. So, of course, I had plenty of fresh spinach. <laughs> so, I added that in there. I cut some garlic up some fresh garlic up and put that in there and um yeah um some seasonings i didn't add any salt and i didn't i didn't season with with um the pink salt until after it was completely done because i didn't know how salty the feta was going to be and i did not want to season it until you know that was all done so um yeah, when it came out of the oven, I put it on 400 for about 30, 35, well, about 35, 40 minutes, actually. And um, when that came out, oh, you guys, it's been a long time since I've done this, so <laughs> let me remember. it up but um my hair's getting in the way jeez <laughs> this is, okay this is gonna be a cha more challenge than I thought you guys so hold on It's looking a little crazy, but trust me. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I, I um, fixed it for about, let it cook for about 35, 40 minutes. And then when that was done, I took it out and um, then I went ahead and seasoned it and got it all mixed through. 
and I am so glad I did not drain those tomatoes, y'all, because I feel like it was kind of like, and maybe it's the amount of pasta I put in there too, because I added some whole wheat pasta. Um, I did have some bow tie pastas that probably would have worked way better than the um, the whole wheat thin spaghetti pasta, but I just was comparing the nutrients and I just decided this time of night, I'll just stick, or the time of night that it was, I would just stick with the whole wheat. So, um, so I did that and I stirred everything around and got it all mixed up and tasted it and it, I, it wasn't as good as I was anticipating it being like, I don't know. It just didn't taste. The feta was good, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. I mean, I've had feta before. Don't get me wrong. Cause I used to make um, these, um, like I used to cut salmon into chunks and lightly fry them. And then in the summer I would make this watermelon, the salad and put watermelon, the fried salmon and the um, feta in there. And oh my Lord, y'all. Woo. Delish. Okay. Um, but the body pan's not going to work. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It was just something. I was just anticipating something different, maybe. I don't know. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't nasty, but it wasn't like, you know, I wasn't trying to lick my plate, put it that way. <laughs> so, um. So yeah, you guys, I made that and I ended up making um, just a green salad. I, I got the large pack of, I think I mentioned this earlier, but the large container of uh, power greens. I love my power greens um, salad mix. And um, so I had that and um, I used a balsamic um vinaigrette for dressing i wanted ranch but and honestly i picked up the ranch but i was like i know i shouldn't i shouldn't i had to fight it y'all like i said this whole diet thing or lifestyle change you know it's not it's not always easy so i was um yeah i was here thinking and i'm like dang and it has some ranch on this, but <laughs> I use my balsamic. And when I use balsamic, I have to have a little bit of something sweet in it. Like I have to sweeten it with a little honey or a little um, sugar. And I actually use um, Truvia. So I just put some of that in there. And it was just okay. But one thing I will tell y'all, I don't, like, I do fine with the feta in, like, the watermelon salad with the fried, lightly fried salmon. Um, but, and I've made other salads that I've put the what just the watermelon and the feta in, the crumbled feta. But the way this was, I don't know what it was, y'all. So I ate and I'm laying there on, or sitting there on the couch. I didn't lay down this time. I'm sitting there on the couch and I'm watching, catching up on a little bit of my crime shows and stuff. And all of a sudden, my stomach got to rumbling, honey. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, it's a good thing I was that I ate that here at the house, okay? <laughs> Oh, Lord. Because <laughs> um, as soon as you know, I'm up here thinking I need to get to the nearest restaurant. <clears throat> so, yeah, the feta, um, pasta, it's, maybe I'll try it again in the future. But, um, you know, at least I can say I tried it this time. But they have my stomach going, y'all. So, yeah, a little cute puff. Maybe we'll put some baby hairs down and then do a face and some jewelry. Edge brushes. Oh, 
hardened up some <laughs> from the gel, I guess. But yeah, I think I want to find something good to watch. I want to watch that. Um, Ivory was telling me about this doc. I think it's a documentary that's on Netflix right now. The Alec Murdoch family. If I'm pronouncing it correctly. If I'm not, please excuse me. But I think it's Alec Murdoff. Or Murdoff. Or Murdoff. So, um, but I, I did follow a little bit of that story, like in the news. And I'm like, dang, is that family cursed or what? You know, some families are like that. Growing up, I knew a family, well, not growing up, well, yeah, growing up, well, no, not growing up, well, I was in my teens, um, I met someone from a family that had a lot of, like, it just seemed like that family would, had a curse on it, it was crazy, so, and yeah, I had followed some of this story, like, in the news and stuff, and, um, so, when she was telling me about the um, seri the um, documentary on Netflix, I knew right away what she was talking about, but um, I didn't know there was something on there about it. So I think I might watch that. I like to watch good stuff like that. And I got, I already have a load of laundry going down there. So... Um, my laundry going mainly mainly work clothes it's funny I was getting my laundry together I'm like dang I just I miss wearing regular clothes it's kind of tough every day just wearing holy stained up work clothes you know but it's just that's what I have to wear because I know I'm going to get dirty while I'm in there so no sense in messing up something that's good. I'm going to be stinky and dirty, y'all, after work. So it only makes sense to wear clothes that are made, you know, for that purpose. But, yeah, I was in my closet and I was like, dang, I just miss wearing, like, <laughs> regular stuff. So... But the weather's going to change soon. And then when I'm off work on the weekends, I'm pretty sure me and Aubrey will do more running around. And now that I'm off Sundays, we're already doing more stuff. So, trying to get the shape a little bit right on this head. <laughs> just think doing hair is fun like styling it and getting it ready and getting a cute look together I think that's so fun this together in the front. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> I know I'm 51, but I can still lay my baby hairs now. They're like, honey, how are you 51 with baby hair? Oh dear. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cute Afro puff. Yes, it is. So now I get a face together, but first I kind of want to put on some jewelry. Okay. Um, I was really wearing this. I have a doctor's appointment coming up, y'all, next. I think it's next Wednesday. So, um, yeah, next Wednesday. So, 
I get to put on regular clothes that day. Not sure what I'm going to do with my hair. I'll probably wear it back and band it if it's not straight by then. If I'm not wearing it straight. Forty-eight in the morning, y'all. I just be up doing all kind of crazy stuff. <laughs> so there's that, and throwing a little rain. Well, I think it's fun to see the look come together. Like when we start adding jewelry and stuff, to see it start to come together. And then put a face on it, and you're like, hey. I just kind of want to do a little fun look real quick. This is how you can tell I miss put my regular clothes. Like, who just plays dress up like this? <laughs> oh, so funny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I could do like my favorite little pearls. I could do those. That's cute with the puff, actually. I could do I have these little stars. Sometimes I have to put my face on first. Let me see how that looks. Sometimes I have to put my face on first and get all that together and then sometimes based on how my face is looking I might change my jewelry so those are cute but let me show you something you guys so <clears throat> I was to do like I have on a little um, flowy a-line skirt right now because it's fun but I thought it would also be cute this sweater would be cute with like jeans with a slight little messy cuff I like messy cuffs and these, these wedges that I think are so cute are these like adorable you guys I've had these and Look at the bottoms of them. I've not really worn these anywhere. I've not had the opportunity to really go anywhere but um, to wear them. But I think they're so cute with just like some little jeans and maybe a white button down that's kind of open with some cute jewelry. Um, or even like a, a, just a tank top and a cute little, I have a hat um that's a summer hat that would look cute with this and a white tank and some messy jeans like boyfriend jeans that would be so cute you guys so but i think these are adorable i love these and then i thought that maybe if i was to if i was to put these on that um if i was to put these on i might change my earrings to the little pearl but i think this is actually one of my favorite purses But that would look cute with that. That would be cute. Would that not be cute? That would be cute. If I did that, then maybe the little pearl would be cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, if I say cute one more time. But yeah, I just think it's fun. So I'll put that there some little jeans and my purse and the little pearls <laughs> yeah and just the I kind of like just the peak of the necklace sometimes I'm like that just the peak right there so I'm actually gonna stick these little pearl earrings in and I love my afro puff and we'll put a face on and see how that all looks that. Ooh, 
think. That. Uh -uh. I'm kind of looking at these other earrings that I have. Moon earrings that are kind of like um, they're like they're like a dangle earring but they're two tones so they have two metals in them then these are cute these actually match my sweater so cute hey. I know I got gold on but that's okay that's okay go back to this. Yeah, let's, try, let's do this dark. Let's be fun. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. I'll try to wrap this up for y'all here in a second. Let's just do a quick face and pull it all together. See how it looks good. I'm so funny with these eyebrows. I know a lot of men out there don't know the routine of a woman, the actual routine of a woman getting ready. I know some are like, what on earth is this about? <laughs> if any men have watched my channel, I don't know. Hopefully they have, they can actually learn a lot. <laughs> I'll be having men tell me, like, I bet you run around in satin fluffy slippers and satin robes and all this stuff. They're looking like, uh, no, I don't. I mean, I do have stuff like that, but I like cotton. <laughs> some comfortable cotton, some jersey knit. pair of sweats. Come on now. Eyebrows do frame the fra frame the phrase. Oh my goodness, girl. I need to I need to go to bed. <laughs> they frame the face. My eyebrow my brush that I'm using for my eyebrows is my favorite brush but it's kinda like on its last leg. It's going to be really quick, you guys. So, I think I need... I just have to fill in oh, I told y'all before this is a lesson don't tweeze your eyebrows don't over tweeze them they just won't grow back one day
maybe if I could be dedicated enough, I'll try the um, castor oil stuff again. Because I have plenty of it. I just, I didn't stick with that whole castor oil on the eyebrow routine. So, there's that. And then I can do a little bit of light eyeshadow. I love pinks and plums on my eyes. I think you guys probably have noticed that. I do love pinks and plums. I love all kinds of eyeshadows. I've just thrown a lot away. Um, but I love to wear different colors. I just know how to mix them right to get um, like different blues and greens even. Only eyeshadow that I tend to stay away from is like um, gold eyeshadow. Like anything that's like shimmery or gold, I try to stay away from just because um, I have aging <laughs> aging skin and um, with aging skin like the folds that I have in my eyes that the shimmery stuff is not becoming at all it's not I feel like my fingers are the best beauty tools that I have you guys I just like to put my makeup on with my hands my fingers so there's that and before I do mascara Sometimes I do like to wear liner on the top lids if I have a deep light brown. I also love plum and like terracotta colors on eyeliner on my top lids, but I just don't have any. I had one that was a brand, the brand is Nomad. Oh, beautiful color. Oh my gosh. And I was using that as everything. I put it on my cheeks, eyes you know, a little bit on my lid. Like, I used it everywhere. It was like a universal type color, you know. It was great. But um, I went to try to order it again. Like, I just Googled it, and I tried to order it again on the website. And um, it, I could, but it didn't come individually. And I, what I had was the individual one, but it did. they didn't sell it like that. So, um it came with like, you had to buy like a palette and the other colors. I really didn't like any of the other ones. But that terracotta was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was. It's almost four o'clock and I'm up here putting a look together. It's so funny. I, I just like doing stuff like this, you guys. I don't know. I'm special. Contact is dripping. It's like, get me out. <laughs> I want glasses. watch some good on TV. I would go have a quick cup of coffee. I do have some down there, but I don't know. jewelry. 
kind of like with the necklace in or off, period. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. Um, I could put some little bracelets on. Like layer them up, depending on what I was wearing. I could layer bracelets. No, the colors aren't right. The, bracelet, the, bra the bracelets are beautiful, but the colors aren't right. So let me try the studs on. Me and my studs. Love my stud earrings. Sometimes I like to wear a little bit more lipstick too. Gosh, this video was 37 minutes already. <laughs> so I can actually do without the necklace, but I just feel like the necklace ties in with the earrings, the little bit of gold in the earrings. And I could also change it to a whole different look and put the dangly stars in, but I think this is cute. So yeah, have my little puff with my purse. And then of course, oops. And again. And of course my shoe. think this would be an adorable look. See how it all ties together. That'd be adorable, you guys. With some jeans, some cute jeans with a cute little tiny cuff, messy cuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This table's crazy, y'all. Okay, well, I'm not going to keep y'all. I just wanted to do with this really quick cute look and I think before I go to bed I'm gonna put this blood red nail polish on I just love my red um, nails that I've been having I love this one too they're the same brand and I didn't realize it but I knew that these were two of my favorites and I'm like hmm this brand must be meant for me it is Sundays Oh, I know they're different ones. Hold on, y'all. Jeez, if I could see, I could read this. My reading glasses. This one says Sundays, and this one says Mondays. When I get my reading glasses on or my contacts out so I can really focus, um, I can tell you guys exactly what this is in another video if you like these. So, aren't they cute? But, um, so yeah, I think I'm going to do the red before I go to bed and try not to get lines in my nails. So, okay, y'all, well, I'm getting ready to go get my face washed off and get my, um, PJs on. I'm thinking I'm going to find a movie and, um, maybe go ahead and have that cup of coffee. It's decaf, so it shouldn't make me, like bounce off the walls or anything. I should still be able to sleep well. So, all right. See y'all.